Now then, YouTube, I'm the Soft Man, and welcome back to more FM 2019 with New Waltham, the created save. And again, don't forget to press that like button if you're enjoying the series, guys. It'd be lovely to uh, to see that. So, getting straight into things today, you can see we have improved slightly after the loss against Hendon. They actually went to lose a couple of times and they've fallen from grace somewhat now on 46 points from the same game, uh, from the same amount of games. If we take a look at the schedule, we've had a few bad spots, as you can probably see. Um, we got, um, is that is that right? Yeah, that's right, isn't it? We lost against Barnet in the FA, fourth Cup, uh, FA Cup fourth qualifying round to stop us going into the first round of the FA Cup. Guys, we've got Barnet again in the FA Trophy second round. This game does not like me. Um, it keeps putting me against horrible people like Barnet. But nevertheless, nevertheless, we're not going to show that on camera. I fully expect to lose that massively. Um, and then we'll be out in the FA Trophy second round, which is a shame. Would be nice to get a little bit more money, but still, that's not to be uh, that's not to be worried about. Okay, so we had Stafford and Hendon. Oh no, we didn't. We had Hendon and North Ferriby in the last game, uh, in the last episode, and we lost three nil against Hendon. Then we beat North Ferriby three nil, uh, which was absolutely fantastic. Put us through quite nicely for FA Trophy uh, first round draw for the first time. Truro we beat two nil. Uh, Hartley Wintney we beat one nil. Then we went against Dunstable, 1-0. Chesham, 1-0. Been a lot of them recently, and it's uh, it's starting to take its toll, guys. We're not getting massive results like what we used to be. However, Averley, we actually went against them away from home and came up with a one-all draw, which wasn't too bad. And then we played them at home and absolutely thrashed them 4-2. I say absolutely thrashed them. They did very, very well um, with, their, with their stats. You can't really see them on here. But it was a 3-2 going into the last 10 minutes. And um, we scored in the last minute to make it 4-2. So I was quite happy about that. Then we went against Staines in the league. Lost 1-0 for the first time since Hendon. And uh, then we went against Milo and won 2 1. Charlie West getting on the score sheet quite recently. Um, and to say he's only a one and a half star, he does quite well for us, so I can't really whinge about that. Merthyr and Beaconsfield, uh, Beaconsfield are the ones that we are going to play today. Robert Dean is unhappy because apparently he wants first team football, even though he's played every one of the last three or four games now. I'm unsure of why he's whinging, but still. Um, the. One thing as well, in our scouting, we are getting access to some really good players, guys. Our reputation is allowing us to be able to get some really good players. However, they are under contract, so we'd have to buy them. But not only that as well, their wage uh, and what they're asking for on their wage is absolutely ridiculous. and certainly nothing we can afford. Speaking about wages and contracts and such as the like, we've actually extended the contract of... Um, Joe Herbert? I think we extended the contract of Joe Herbert. Maybe we didn't. I think he was wanting... The maximum we can give out is 275. I think he was wanting 325. He's not getting it. So, obviously, he has said no to the new contract. Hopefully, we can wiggle him out a new contract. Uh, I like to take all of the bonuses off because I like to keep control of what money I do have. I say that and we're massively in debt at the moment. But still, uh, Sam Lanahan, I've offered a new contract to. Finlay Hayhurst, I've offered a new contract to. Dwayne Cultures, I've offered a new contract to. And of course, Casey Stewart, I've offered a new contract to as well. He's having a lot of shots. None of them. I mean, 15 goals is still a great return from 22 games and six on the, on the bench. But every time I see him, guys, it's through one on one with the keeper and always 100% of the time when he's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper fluffs his lines it's very rare that he scores from those sorts of positions and of course Declan Daniels is there as well um, Reese Webb Foster I do believe I've offered him a new contract at the exact same £275 a week and Andreas Rubenstein well he's, he's here for a while now so we don't need to worry too much about losing him at the moment so Guys, with that in mind, against Mirtha Tidville today, we are going to be playing this formation. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, guys, 
this uh, this works. We've got Kultras, here, Hearst, Lanahan, West, the usual suspects really. Daniels and Stewart up front, Neville, Herbert, Wilson and Smethurst along the back and Dean um, in goal currently. Even though he's unhappy, I'm hoping that's not going to make too much of a difference. Ben Storoster will be leaving the club shortly, so we've got to find another right back at some stage as well. Interestingly enough, when I looked at the under-23s, look at this, guys. Two star, Mickey West has been absolutely banging him in for the under-23s. 10 appearances, 11 on as a substitute, 14 goals, and an average rating of 7.36 certainly has my ears pricked up, shall we say. So let's get straight into the match then, guys. You have selected two. Yes, that's fine. I'm not too fussed about that. It's I don't really use them two substitutes anyway. But, Merthyr, it's a big game. It's a big game, and it reminds me of the start of the season where we had two away games, and I think we ended up pretty well off them ones. So I encourage the players. Yes, of course we will encourage the players, and it never makes any an ounce of difference. Now, Merthyr Tidville, they are mid-table. They're in 13th place at the moment. We're hard away from home. Could be slightly more difficult, and again, we're getting uh, shots against us here. We had two shots, both of them off target. Hopefully... Come on now, New Waltham. Let's be banging those goals in. Three shots. Oh, God's sake. It seems that this always ha... Oh, my God, Dean. What was that? You caught yourself a goalkeeper doing stuff like that. No wonder I dropped you. So it's his sixth goal of the season, Jake Kelly. And um, very disappointing from both the back line there. Hayhurst got rid of it. But, I mean, look at that. It's... It's bad, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, that is terrible. Six shots, five on tight. Let's pause and have a look at the opposition. Now, teams are doing this against me all the time now. And I'm wondering if it's time to do changes. Um, because that seems to be the, the, uh, the formation that I'm most struggling against. And it seems to be the one that every single team is using against me. Smethurst with a lovely ball off the toss. Well, Casey Stewart again, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, smashes it straight at him and um, doesn't manage to score. It's typical Casey Stewart kind of moment there. Kultras with the corner, whips it in, and it's not really as far as anybody. Um, not the best in the world. So at the moment, Merthyr are 1-0 up. We don't look like scoring. Um, we've certainly got more of the ball. That's decent. But when we're not shooting and we're not getting those shots on target, that's when there's an issue, guys. So Joseph here. Merthyr on the attack. Jones, Artis, ball of the top there. Neville's picked it up. Giving it back to Dean. Might have been a bad idea playing a goalkeeper who is currently unhappy with me. But nevertheless. Here, Hurst. Is there anything that... I mean... You are taking your time. <laughs> really are to... Oh, my lord. Come on now, guys. You have worked and played with each other for so long. You should not be making passes like that. That is just absolutely ridiculous. Kultras with the ball in now. And it's ended up in the back of the net. I am unsure as to how. D uh, Declan Daniels, fourth goal of the season, assisted by Dwayne Kultras, of course. Um... I am not sure how that's actually ended up in the back of the net. Kultras, oh my god, don't start with the FPS again. I mean, Shenton's absolutely... I mean, it's just as bad as the uh, mistake on the other end of the pitch. Dean gives it to Herbert. We do like playing out of defence. and I do like that. He gives us more possession. And hopefully we can build something out of the back. But it doesn't seem like we're building anything at the moment. Hayhurst and Lanahan having a good season up till now. I don't, I'm not pass I have no idea what that pass was Kultras Declan Daniels hanging back a little bit but that's a great ball to Charlie West he's on side as well and uh, he doesn't usually miss those kind of opportunities it's half time guys and uh, the score is currently one all we've had slightly more shots now um, I think though yeah, let's give him a give him a boost but I think what I'm going to do for this second half guys is going to go toe to toe uh, this could work it could go terribly wrong here but I'm going to go toe to toe with these guys because I really don't like the fact that all these people keep using the same and you can see us grinding 1-0 results out 1-0 results 1-0 1-0 2-1 really close at re close results so um Casey Stewart, Reese Webb Foster doesn't seem to be the man for the sort of job that we're after there. So let me go ahead and change that back. Now, Charlie West, 
Corey Clapison is going to come on. Culturist Hayhurst Daniels, Declan Daniels, who scored the goal for us. It wasn't the best goal in the world, I have to say. It's going to come off for Tommy Lamb. We'll see whether or not that's going to make a difference in the second half. I fully expect us to get less possession, but I'm hoping more in the way of, uh, of, of big opportunities for us. There's Lamb. What are you doing, mate? The, the goal's the other way around. Hayhurst. Lanahan. Back towards Lamb again. Spray the ball. Good lad. Smethurst on the right-hand side. Corey Clappison. Great ball in towards Lanahan, who goes for the shot, and it's tipped it over the bar. Uh, or not tipped it over the bar as it is. It's just whacked it over the bar. Already, we're seeing a lot more shots coming in, which is, uh, which is good. We've got to get them shots in. That's for sure. We have made two substitutions though just after half time, so we can't really make any more at this moment in time. We're just going to have to uh, keep on going as is and hope that we can get something out of this. Well, we've kind of cancelled each other out, as you can see. No, no key highlights, nothing to really write home about. Right, we're in the last 10 minutes here. We cannot afford another draw. Um, Casey Stewart, Reese Webb Foster, what can you play as a poacher? Okay, we'll bring you on as a poacher. Um, I'm wondering I'm wondering if it's worth doing something that looks a little bit like that um, the only thing is obviously Lamb cannot play in that sort of position and we've got no substitutions left to be able to do we're going to have to keep it as is I think and uh, go for an attacking sort of play we get a lot more shots in now. This seems to be the way forwards for us. But it does look like it's going to end up a one-all draw. We've completely cancelled each other out as it stands. And Salisbury has actually gone top of the league at the moment. And there we are. Full time, guys. Merthyr won. New Waltham won. But the interesting thing is the change in formation there actually helped us out. So... What I'm going to take from that is if we go up against, which we will at some stage going up into the future, we will go against that sort of formation again. Um, and, well, Beaconsfield, we should easily beat Beaconsfield. Easily beat Beaconsfield. If we don't, there's something seriously wrong. But uh, a result against mid-table, Mirtha was coming. It was on the cards, guys. So many 1-0 draw, uh, draws. 1-0 really, you know, sort of squeezing it over the line. Uh, Hendon also a one all against Slough. They keep dropping points left, right, and centre. But Salisbury, um, I've come back into it a five-one win against Gosport. So well, guys, next game is going to be against um, Beaconsfield. I mean, we did well to come back into that, but the problem is uh, we didn't win the game. We needed the three points really to stay on top. And I mean, first and second is first, second, third. Okay, those are the teams. These will these three teams here will be first, second, third. We're ten points between us and Western Supermare, who are an absolute nightmare to play against. So we will see that anyway. Next game is gonna be against Beaconsfield, guys. Well, it's not exactly the game that you guys were expecting. Barnet versus Waltham in the FA Trophy. We are away from home against massive opposition in Barnet. Our match against Beaconsfield, unfortunately, was postponed, so we're stuck with this game instead. This... Uh, I don't know how this is going to go, guys. I really don't know. I've changed a couple of things. I've put these as full-backs and I've put them as uh, defensive full-backs. We've put the wingers as support rather than attack, just to be able to shore up the defence a little bit. Let's see whether or not we can get anything against Barnet. I mean... A draw would be okay to then go back and uh, at our house. I mean, they've got plenty of actual faces in their side that really we were we are probably going to get our asses handed to us on a plate. So, well, we've just got to go out there and try our utmost um, to be able to do it. So I'm going to switch to a cautious straight away. I know I'm inviting the pressure, but uh, maybe we can get them on the counter or something like that. Who knows, guys? If we can get the draw, go to New Waltham, who knows what might happen? Um, they're getting a lot of long shots in. I say a lot. They're getting, they've got one long shot in. Corner, and that's in the back of the net. Igwe, our defenders really should be doing something better with that. Disappointing to uh, concede from a set piece, of all things. 
But, uh, oh well. Ioma balling. I mean, he's not even marked. He's not looked at. Nobody gives a flying fuck about the the, the big guy going in at the back. Uh, big centre-back in Igwe. I think he scored against us last time as well, actually, come to think of it. But, uh, oh, maybe we tell him to show some passion. Go on, show some passion, lads. We're not getting any shots. I mean, we've got to sort of change something up here because we're getting absolutely nothing from this game at the moment. Another set piece? Seriously? Don't let it... Oh, thank God for that. Well, nothing. We're getting... We've got the ball. We're not getting any shots off. This is terrible. Well, that's half time and not a single shot has been had. I'm disappointed. No, we can't sympathise. Aggressive. I expect a much better showing in the second half. Get some shots on, lads. Can't score without taking no shots. Are they going to come straight at us? They're a lot quicker at moving the ball. They'll be a lot better team, to be honest. We are... Uh, we're not a great team. I mean, we were nine to one, uh, nine, uh, nine to one to get a result from this game. Cole first with a shot, and that's in the back of the net straight away from half time. Absolutely, the goalkeeper probably should have done better with that, to be honest. But okay, uh, the centre backs still—they are not getting on to their guy either. I mean, that what's that? You're not even shadowing him. He's, he's just done you a butte there. He's just absolutely done you a butte. We're not getting any shots in, guys. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch to the tactic. The tactic itself. Uh, we're going to bring Daniels off, of course. Bring on Tommy Lamb. And then Charlie West, who's done absolutely nothing either, is going to come on. We can't bring Smethurst. Right. We've got one more change, should we need it. But I'm just trying to get a little bit from this game, to be honest, guys. I'm trying to get a shot off. <laughs> just one shot. Come on, lads. Just one shot. <laughs> the crowd have gone mental. I always knew we was going to lose this game. Away against Barton. They, uh, Barnet. They do not like us. I mean, this game just loves putting us against teams like this. Ayoma Mills is going to catch that, actually, before it goes out. What's he going to do with it? Absolutely nothing. Stood there looking at the ball instead. Lamb's ball. That's what we want. Ball of the top. Casey Stewart's got that. It's one on one with the keeper. He's never going to score. Oh, it's a Jeff. It's a Jeff. We could find a, way, a route back into this game. Dwayne Coltrus will take the penalty because, of course, F uh, Webb Foster's not on. Coltrus. Oh, he's, 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 well, he smacked it straight at the goalkeeper. It's ended up in the back of the net for the sheer power in that shot. Come on, lads. Can we surprise him here and get, um, and get something else? Right, what we're going to have to do then uh, is... I'm just going to go with the normal one here. But um, get that ball up there. Just get it up. Casey Stewart, get him on the end of the balls. Get him running onto the end of it. We'll see what happens. Matrevix. The ball forward is going to be knocked down towards Sule. Or Sule. Dryden. Are we going to nick the ball? Come on, nick the ball. Run with it. Ayoma. I mean, they've just got so many people. I mean, yeah, we've got three midfielders, and they're not keeping track. Oh, what on earth is Smethurst doing? He's not even following the guy. Here's Lamb, Lanahan. Go on, whack it forward, Clapperson. Get it forward to Casey Stewart. Where's Ka is that Casey Stewart? Are you having a laugh? You should be at the front. Lanahan's cross ball towards Coltrus now. Can we find a way back into this? Coltrus in towards Casey Stewart, and we're back in it. It's two all, guys. Casey Stewart has scored a wonderful goal. That's why you should be up front, fella. Dwayne Coltrus with yet another assist. He's gone down to a star and a half as, as uh, Dwayne Coltrus, but my goodness, is he one of our best players? Certainly. Oh, he is Coltrus again. He's gone for the whip. Unfortunately, it is wide of goal. Keep it going, lads. A two all draw. I mean, I'll take a draw. It'd be nice to win it. Now that we've come back into this. Hey, Hurst has picked up the ball here. Herbert, ball of the top towards Coltrus. He's taking it down with his head. He's still got it now as Coltrus on the left-hand side. He's put it back towards Mills. That's not exactly what I want you to see. I want to see you do. He's headed it. He's going to header it down. Here's Lamb. Go on, spread it out wide, son. No. I said out wide. Fucking hell, Herbert. That's twice. 
in about three games you've done that. I can't fucking believe it. Herbert has done that twice in three games, guys. Takes the ball and just whacks it, like, and loses possession. You cannot lose possession against this sort of side in 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 that position as well. You just can't do it. And that is mightily disappointing. Absolutely mightily disappointing. Get that up. Shoot on sight. Get some set pieces in there if you can as well. I can't believe it, guys. We fought back into that so well. And Herbert has got a 7 rating and he is directly responsible for why we have lost this game. How does this game work out its ratings? Because that is unbelievable. To give Herbert a 7 when he was directly responsible for us losing this game. We could have taken a replay back home and made life a little bit difficult for Barnett. But because of Herbert, that wasn't the case. He lost the ball in defence and then left us with absolutely no chance. And he is one of the highest rated on our side, including Dwayne Cultures and Casey Stewart, who managed to score them goals. How is that physically possible to get a rating of 7 when you absolutely messed it up? I'll just go with that anyway, because we did really well to fight back, and I'm so disappointed. I was expecting to lose, don't get me wrong, but to be in a two-all position with ten minutes left to go, and your defender to do an absolute, just ridiculous... I'm sick of seeing him do that as well. For our defender to do that, oh, it was so disappointing. So disappointing. But, guys, that is going to be it for the end of this episode. We are out of the FA Trophy, which is unfortunate, but was expected at some point. I'm going to go for a good long, uh, I think Salisbury, I think that game, Salisbury and Gosport away from home, I think those two games are going to be massive for us. We're going to go ahead, we're going to come back for the Salisbury and, uh, and Gosport. In fact, somewhere between here as well, I think at the end of the February, uh, we get our youth intake, which don't forget, guys, if you are on the $10 uh, Patreon, you can get your name in the game um, if you follow the instructions that are given on Twitter. Uh, I do put it out on Twitter, and I tell you guys, look, if you've got Patreon, go over there, get on your Patreon, because the video with all of the new people come on, and that is exactly how Andreas Rubinstein uh, got his name. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, I've been the Stoffman. As always, stay safe.